Okay, so I'm also going to do um, the week seven interactive quiz called Factorial ANOVA Hypothesis Supported. All right, so researchers were interested, question one, researchers were interested in the amount tourists spent on souvenirs. They suggested that older tourists age 25 would spend more on souvenirs than those age 25 or younger. So we've got an IV of age group with only two groups in it. If it is significant, you won't require any follow-up analyses. It's a main effect hypothesis. They also hypothesised that this difference between the spending of older and younger tourists would be greater for those travelling overseas than for those travelling in Australia. So that's an interaction hypothesis because we're talking about the size of the difference between expenditure for older and younger tourists and we're saying that the difference will be greater um, for those travelling overseas in Europe or Asia than for those travelling in Australia. So using the SPS output attached as the data collect collected appear to support these hypotheses. Use the drop-down menus to give your answers. So older tourists would spend more on souvenirs than those age 25 or younger. So first of all, we'll start by looking to see if the interaction is significant. It is. Age group is not significant, so there's no difference in the expenditure between the age groups, and um, there is a difference between expenditure for place. However, given the significant interaction, the main effect of age group needs to be viewed with caution. So let's go down and have a look at the graph. So you can see there is a difference between expenditure for age group, according to age group, for those in Australia, but no difference for those um, in Asia or Europe. Okay? So, so older tourists would spend more on souvenirs than those age 25 or younger. The hypotheses are partially supported. It's, it's true for the Australians, but not for the, the Europe or Asia. The difference between the spending of older and younger tourists would be greater for those travelling overseas than for those travelling in Australia. You can see the difference is really minimal for those travelling overseas, where this, the difference is quite large for those travelling in Australia. So that hypothesis is not supported. Question two. Research has suggested that students in Year 7 would enjoy English less than students in Years 9 and 11. So we've got a DV of English enjoyment. We've got an IV of Year Level with a specific hypothesis where we want to compare Year 7s to Year 9s and Year 7s to Year 11s. They also suggested that the relationship between Year Level and enjoyment would be more pronounced for boys than for girls. So the relationship would be stronger for boys than for girls. So again, that's an interaction hypothesis. We're, we're talking about the relationship between the DV and one IV across different groups of the other IV. So it's an interaction hypothesis. So using the SPSS output attached below, does the data collected appear to support the hypotheses? So use the drop-down menu to give your answers. Students in Year 7 would enjoy English less than students in Years 9 and 11. So let's have a look. Our interaction is not significant. Gender is not significant. Year level is significant. So enjoyment of English does differ by year level, such that year sevens have lower English enjoyment than year nines or elevens, regardless of whether they're males or females. The hypothesis is that students in year seven would enjoy English less than students in years nine and eleven. So that is supported. The relationship between year level and enjoyment would be more pronounced for boys and girls. There was no interaction, so that hypothesis is not supported. So question three. Research has suggested that students in Year 7 would enjoy maths more than students in Years 9 and 11. So it's the same as the one before, except we're looking at enjoyments of maths instead of English. They also hypothesise that the relationship between Year Level and enjoyment of maths would be different for boys and girls. It's an interaction hypothesis. Using the SPS output attached below, does the data collected appear to support these hypotheses? Use the drop-down menus. So let's start by looking down here. There's a significant interaction, so we need to look at the main effects with caution. We'll go down to the figure. You can see that enjoyment of maths is um, lower for Year 7s than Year 9s and 11s for females, higher for Year 7s than Year 9s and 11s for males. So the hypothesis was that Year 7 maths, Year 7s would enjoy maths more than students in Years 9 and 11, so that's only supported um, for males. So the hypothesis is partially supported. The relationship between year level and enjoyment of maths would be different for boys and girls. It certainly is. You can see it's really different. Question four. Research has suggested that students in year seven would enjoy English less than students in years nine and eleven. So again, English enjoyment, year, and we've got specific hypotheses comparing year sevens to year nines and year sevens to year elevens. They also suggested that the relationship between year level and enjoyment would be more pronounced for boys than for girls. So interactive hypothesis, interaction hypothesis. The SPSS output is below. Which of the following would be the correct conclusion to draw from the year level main effect F 
ratio. So the year level main effect F ratio is significant and all that this tells us, sex is not significant, interaction is not significant. The only thing that this tells us is that there is some difference between the groups, in between these three groups on enjoyment of English. We don't know where that difference is. So we would say there is a significant difference between enjoyment of English and year level that is wrong. We're not comparing enjoyment of English to year levels. So that is definitely wrong. Children in year 7 enjoy English significantly less than children in years 9 and 11. The graph suggests that, but we don't actually know that. The graph says that that is true. Depends on what this question is asking, actually, as to whether we're allowed to make that conclusion from the graph or not. It does say just from which of the following would be the correct conclusion to draw from the F ratio. So it's not telling us to consider the graph. It's just saying from the F ratio. So there's no significant interaction. There is a significant difference in the mean enjoyment of English across year levels would be the one. There's a significant difference in mean enjoyment of English for each year level. That's not true. We don't know where the differences lie until we do follow-up analyses. All right. Let's have a look. Let's make sure they're all correct. Excellent.